Connecting and reconnecting using conjunctions correctly in English. This video will teach you how to recognize and use conjunctions in related words in English. Specifically, you will learn how to distinguish words like and, but, or, so, for, from, however, besides, therefore, and other words. Let's get started. Using conjunctions correctly in English. We're going to divide this video into four parts. Connecting words, reconnecting words, common mistakes, and special usage. This video will teach you how to use conjunctions and conjunctive adverbs correctly in English. What are they? Conjunctions, we're going to call them connectors. And, but, so, or, nor, yet, and for. And conjunctive adverbs, we're going to call them reconnectors. However, therefore, besides, also, furthermore, still, otherwise, thus, finally, nevertheless, in addition, on the other hand, first, then, next, and many other words like this. Why do we call them connectors and reconnectors? Connectors, or conjunctions, emphasize the links between elements within a sentence. Reconnectors, conjunctive adverbs, emphasize the connection to a new idea after a sentence break. Note, conjunctions can be coordinating or subordinating. For this lesson, we will only deal with coordinating conjunctions. Here's a list of common connectors and reconnectors. You can see them side by side here and then see the meanings on the left. We won't go into detail with this table right now, but we'll talk about it a little bit later in the video. First, we're going to talk about connecting words. These are words like and, but, so, or, nor, for, and yet. Connectors emphasize the links between elements within a sentence. Sometimes they re require a comma, sometimes they don't. Let's dig a little deeper. Connecting words do not require a comma when linking subjects, verbs, objects, adjectives, adverbs, and phrases. For example, Mark and Linda like Italian food. These are subjects linked together. Jack walks or runs a mile every day. These are verbs linked together. Rachel likes tennis and soccer. These are objects linked together. Garrett is tall and handsome. These are adjectives linked together. Jan finished her work slowly but surely. These are adverbs linked together. He works on the sidewalk or in the street. These are phrases linked together. Connecting words do require a comma when linking groups of words with two or more subjects and verbs. For example, John likes tea and coffee. One subject no comma. John and Mary like coffee. One verb, no comma. John likes coffee and Mary likes tea. Two subjects and two verbs. You need a comma here. John likes coffee, but Mary likes tea. Also, two subjects and two verbs. So a comma is required before the connector. Here's another example. Tammy was busy, yet happy. No comma required. Tammy was busy, comma, yet she was happy. Two subjects, two verbs. A comma is required before the connector. A variation on that. Tammy was busy, comma, so she was happy. Two subjects, two verbs. A comma is required.
Let's talk about reconnecting words now. Reconnectors emphasize the connection that is made after a sentence break. A sentence is stopped with a period. The British like to call this a full stop. Reconnectors start a new sentence or thought after the period. For example, John likes coffee, period. New sentence, however, comma, Mary likes tea. Here's how it works. With reconnectors, a new sentence is started with a capital letter on the first reconnecting word, followed by a comma and a new subject. For example, John likes coffee, period. Therefore, comma, he drinks it every day. New sentence, on the other hand, comma, Mary prefers tea. Here's a variation on this. Sometimes a new thought is started with a semicolon after a short break or pause. In such cases, the reconnecting words are not capitalized, but they are still followed by a comma and a new subject. For example, John likes coffee, semicolon, therefore, comma, he drinks it every day. So what's the difference? With connectors, the emphasis is on the link among words within the sentence. With reconnectors, the emphasis is on the sentence break and then reconnection of ideas. Let's look at some examples. John likes coffee, comma, but Mary likes tea. Can you see how these words are closely related and linked together? John likes coffee, period, break. However, Mary likes tea. John likes coffee, small break. However, Mary likes tea. With the last sentence, they're using a semicolon. A semicolon is kind of between a comma and a period. You can see the period at the top and the comma at the bottom. It means there is a break, but it's a weaker break, and it's within the sentence. So we use a semicolon. Common mistakes. There are three common mistakes that students make in their writing. Number one, starting a sentence with a connector. Two, extra punctuation. Three, missing punctuation and capitalization. The key to fixing these problems is don't use connectors as reconnectors and vice versa. The first problem, starting a sentence with a connector. It's better not to start a sentence with a connecting word. For example, Jared likes badminton, period, and he likes diving. No, this is not correct. Jared likes badminton, comma, and he likes diving. This is correct. We can also take out the second subject and simply say, Jared likes badminton, no comma, and diving. Two, extra punctuation. Do not put a comma after a connecting word. For example, Gina wanted to buy a car, period, but comma, she didn't have enough money. No, this is incorrect. The correct way would be, Gina wanted to buy a car, comma, but she didn't have enough money. Another example, Jason loves baseball. So, comma, he plays it a lot. No, this is not correct. We can change that to a reconnector. For example, Jason loves baseball. Therefore, comma, he plays it a lot. So there are different ways to correct these mistakes. Three, missing punctuation and capitalization. Don't forget to use proper punctuation with reconnectors. For example, 
I live near the ball, mall, comma, however, I seldom go shopping there. No, this is incorrect. The correct answers could be, I live near the mall, period, capital, however, comma, I still go shopping there. Or, I live near the mall, semicolon, however, comma, I seldom go shopping there. Or, change it to a connector. I live near the mall, comma, but I seldom go shopping there. Finally, we'll talk about special cases. In some cases, the sentence is broken between the subject and the verb, and a reconnector is used. In those cases, commas are used since the connectors occur within the sentence. For example, John likes coffee, Mary, comma, however, comma, likes tea. Mary likes tea. John, comma, on the other hand, comma, likes coffee. Notice the commas both before and after the reconnecting words. Here's a review of the connectors and reconnectors in English. We will organize them according to meaning. We have connectors and reconnectors. For addition, the connector is and. Reconnectors can be words like also, besides, moreover, furthermore, additionally, or in addition. For contrast, connectors are but and yet. Reconnectors are, however, still, conversely, instead, rather, in contrast, nevertheless, on the other hand. For reason, consequence, cause and effect, the connectors are so and for. The reconnectors are therefore, thus, as a result, accordingly. For choice, the connectors are or or nor. Reconnectors are otherwise. For sequence or time, we don't use connectors here, but we use a lot of reconnectors. First, second, third, then, next, finally. Meanwhile, at the same time. For emphasis, we use reconnectors. Actually, in fact, indeed, of course, clearly, and on the contrary. We have a special video which explains on the contrary. We'll give you a link to that in the description below. Similarity. Reconnectors are similarly Likewise, comparatively. Illustration. For instance, for example, in other words. Now, sometimes these can be used within a sentence when they're followed by simple examples, not full sentences. Summary. Reconnectors are in conclusion, in summary, and hence. Hope that was helpful. If you have questions, please let us know at the link below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.